the Open Data Charter has been working to build open up guides to identify high value data sets to be open on a particular area of policy. We have built another one on anti-corruption, on climate action and on agriculture. And we, this will be the fourth one. So we really think that land issues are particularly susceptible to corruption. According to Transparency International, one on over five people have been paying bribes to access to land services uh, land ownership and tenure are pretty much related to this. Um, there are, in, in some cases, exclusion to communities from participating in land deals between private investors and local authorities. There are customary laws that deny women their land rights and uh, where, where corruption directly hits to the poor and to the marginalized people. Um, so we really believe this guide can help uh, address that issue and take action accordingly. So as this open up guide identify high value data sets that should be made open on a particular area of policy, in this case, in, in land governance and administration, uh, it includes standards, examples, use cases, and the specific description of each data set. So we believe that by identifying all these information can help government and reformers from, from the land sector and data sector um, and particularly in countries from the global south, to collect, share and publish more and better data on how land is governed so that it responds to local needs and put vulnerable communities and marginalized groups at the center of the policy making. And we expect that by working with the governments uh, from the particular sector, these data sets can be um, adapt adapted and fit to the local needs and particular context. In this process, we are really looking forward to hearing from anyone interested or involved in land policies, either from the public sector, from private companies, or from the, the social sector or the academia. Uh, we are aiming to reach into a, a particular and a, and a variety of stakeholders that can help us build a strong guide for opening up land governance data. We are keeping public comments open for almost two months because we acknowledge it's a long document with a lot of information and really detailed and we want people to take the time to have the time and to take it to really read through it thoroughly as well as reaching a global community and we know we know that communication efforts take time you can read the guide in the land portal website as well and on our different uh, twitter accounts and, and social media accounts um, we expect public comments to be submitted in writing, either in the shared document, in the suggestion mode, with comments or with the specific wording that you would suggest that phrase should look like. We are looking for specific comments that can help us build this guide and, and, and really, sound, really sound for the uh, land community. You can share with us links or resources that we have not mapped or that should be made more specific. In case the shared document is not enough, we are providing uh, in an email where you can submit specific uh, longer feedback or other resources that cannot be linked. So we're really looking forward for, for comments and from feedback from, from, all, from all, all stakeholders that would want to, to work on land governance policies and want to increase uh, land data that's available for better and inclusive policy making.